Tommy Tanks here. So, we have an exciting video for you today. Hyger sent us a 10 watt air pump. Currently, the air pumps are sitting above the tanks because we have them actually on top of this tank. And then we have the, which I'll show you later, but the lines running across the ceiling. But I was thinking maybe putting them below the tank for the side tanks. But in order to do that, I needed to get check valves, which I have, but I don't know if I have enough. So I'll have to check that. Let me show you the pump. This is what the pump looks like. Uh, it looks pretty good quality. But. And then we got, uh, I actually didn't get this with it. I, I put them on. <laughs> I actually put these on um, before the video because I just wanted to see if I, if I had the right fitting. But anyways, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you what we, our current setup is, and then we'll get into the video of me actually setting these up. So, let's get into it. All right, so we're right now on top of the 220 gallon aquarium, and these are the, the pumps that we got going. There's also one here. And so this pump, it kind of, it goes all the way over, has this cord hanging down, which it was hung up. Um, and it leads into this aquarium right here. And then we got this one right here, which is the same one. And it, it goes above on the ceiling here. We have it hooked up into this tank right here. Now before, oh, can't forget about this one. So let's, do you see it better now? Um, this big boy is right now in this aquarium right back here. And then the last one, which is over here, um, used to be hooked up giving air to these two tanks. So before I started filming this video, I disconnected the pump that was in this one and I just put the line straight through this cichlid tank right here. Now, the reason why I did that is because there was not enough air pressure on that pump to actually give air for the two tanks. Say hi, Bruce. How's it going? It's good. And then um, what we're gonna be doing today is hooking up the Hyger 10 watt air pump to this tank right here. So right now, as you can see, there's enough air coming through, but as those lines went down or as I put I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the stones, I'm gonna call them the stones, down into the aquarium, we lose air pressure when they were hooked up to the tube. <laughs> Anyways, so we'll see how that turns out and um, I'll keep you, well, I'll take you with me. So, wish me luck. Okay, so my camera died there, um, but I ended up getting this tank hooked up my arm's soaking wet because I go into the tank because the thing unplugged. And then the issue was is I tried to put the connector in and the screw fell out and it fell behind the aquarium and I can't find it. So I had to find a new attachment, which I did. So it's working as you can see. Now for the exciting part, we're gonna test out the Hyger 10 watt air pump. And um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a little hard because we have no lights. All I got is my phone light. I'm gonna hook it up and we're gonna see um, how it works. <sighs> so we had a little mishap here. The cord disconnected from one of the filters and just went everywhere. <sighs> Try to get it away from that wood on the big tank. So we're gonna have a mess to clean. Holy shit. What a disaster. Bruce, tell him what happened. No comment. No comment. So the filter blew, the hose just blew right off of it and just everything went everywhere. Whole bunch of shit everywhere. We lost all that water in the tank, which is a lot of water to have on the floor. And then we uh, lost power. Explain why. Because uh, one of the plugs got covered in water, so the 
GFC yeah, I've uh, turned off, so. So we have no filters on this tank. The sun sun was also leaking, which would make sense because I just filled this tank up with water and there was like this much in it when I saw it today. I'm like, well, is that evaporation? Nope, that was a sun sun. Thank you, sun sun. Hey, we're back in action. Yes. So we decided to finish off this video of the air pump. So thank you, Higer, for sending us this air pump. We haven't started yet, but come take a look, Bruce. He <laughs> kind of scratched. Unfortunately, scratched it up because it got stuck behind the brick, but we're good now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go plug this in. Uh, so if you can see, this is the air pump that was originally on the tank. And we got the same attachment. What do you call this, Bruce? I'm going to call it the stone. The stone is the same in there. We're going to plug this in. We're going to test this out. What an evening. All right, you see something? Okay, we see something. There's the adjustment knob. So this is the low setting. You see the bubbles, Bruce? Okay. And Where are the bubbles supposed to be? And turn it up. Oh, there we go. So this is the full, the full, full way right there. Okay. So okay. you want to zoom in there? Get close. Do a little comparison here. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is the other one. So now we can. The other one we couldn't put all the way down. It? Oh, we didn't even realize you have <laughs> the valve just floating in the tank. But That's okay. This is uncut. This is uncut. Okay, Tommy Tank style. Okay, so that's that's what it looks like. What else could go wrong today? Let's have a power outage. It looks good. Now we have air in this tank. We couldn't get air before because it was one air pump that was pretty small. Um, you can see this one here. This is the this is the one that's running on this tank. This is the one that's running on this tank. Um, and so now they're two separate. So productive day. A lot of work, big disaster. We started at, I started at 4.30, it's what, 8 o'clock? Turn on the neon, yeah, it's 8. It's 8 o'clock, it's been a long day, eventful. So thank you guys so much for watching. I wanna thank Higer for sending us, for sending us the yep. uh, air pump. We greatly appreciate it. it. Does a great job, and now our fish can breathe, but there's no filter on the tank, there's no fish in there yet. <laughs> But we'll get some. Yeah. So that's going to be in an upcoming video. And I say this every video. But anyways, take care and see you next time. <laughs>